The Cardiff City hooligans, the Soul Crew, have continued to be active this season. We filmed undercover for as a hundred or so were escorted by police to a match at Bristol City. Abuse was hurled at rival fans. <laughs> and some were organising a fight with the Bristol hooligans. <laughs> and you've got 20 boys on your right hand side. So have a look, say have a look. Just say have a look. Alright, we'll have a look. Alright, we'll, we'll have a look. For some, the match at Bristol City's ground was simply a brief lull before the coming fight. What followed was depressingly inevitable. Watching nearby was one of her mam's associates, Anis Abraham, the millionaire seen throwing a punch in Brussels. His colleague had just been in the fray. He commented on the night's events. They had a good throw then, so I give them credit. I my It's the weekend after Christmas, and Bristol City fans have travelled to Cardiff's ground for the return match. Inside Ninian Park, the atmosphere was heated. Cardiff fans threw coins and bottles filled with urine. Missiles were thrown back. There are missiles being thrown uh, throughout the game and, and, and I'm not naive enough to know that we weren't um, you know, dispatching some ourselves or throwing back what came. Um, but again, uh, speaking to, to, to the fans that were there, um, they, they felt they were under constant uh, barrage of missiles. Cardiff went 3-1 down. Oh, and the atmosphere became more vicious. Come on, Cardiff fans broke up chairs to throw at the Bristol supporters. Then hurled racist abuse. Yeah, 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 you motherfucker. But the Cardiff City stewards ignored both criminal offences. Instead, they shared jokes with one supporter about throwing chairs. At the end of the match, Cardiff hooligans invited their Bristol counterparts to fight outside. You don't go to any... Uh... Police tried to clear the car park, but a mob confronted them. Put your sticks down! Let's fucking have it! 